What is up YouTube, Fluttershot RLC back with another Madden 15 Ultimate Team game and our opponent is a live rhombus, the guy that let me borrow his 24 hour boss Bo Jackson for a couple of games. So you know what, I wanted to play against him and Bo and his Bo Jackson. Uh, just to kind of see what my, you know, again, just to kind of see what my opponents felt like when they played me when I had them. So it's definitely going to be interesting, okay? I mean, with Bo Jackson, he's just unstoppable, right? If you can stop Bo, you can stop your opponent, and that's exactly what I'm going to try to do today. But we were receiving the ball first, which I don't want to have to do, but unfortunately I lost the toss. That kind of comes with the territory of losing the toss, yeah. Um, so it's definitely going to be uh, interesting. We barely picked up the first time there, and a Julian Edelman. Uh, I wish he would have stayed in bounds, because if he did, we could have gotten a lot more yards on that play, but instead he did. So RG3 out the pocket, trying to get the spin moves, getting hit hard, but holding on to the ball. So, um, yeah, man, so, you know, just, uh, you know, because I, I played with this Bo, with this Bo Jackson, so I already know how, like, glitchy he is. So I really wanted to just, you know, kind of just see what it's like playing against him. So, you know what? It's what I wanted to do. And, uh, you know, and plus, I want to see if Jamal Charles can outperform him. So I can have another excuse to say, oh, well, Jamal Charles, best running back in the game. He outperformed 99 Bo Jackson. Um, e even though we, we all know that that's never going to happen. But look at that Jamal Charles out of the backfield. Now, I have both um, 94 and and uh, 89 Jamal uh, Jamal Charles. So it's it's a little bit difficult like, keeping tr track of stats for the for, for the most part, because you got you know both of them. I think that the 89 Charles is still my third down back, which I probably should change, but I haven't. And right here, I tried to hit B to get the spin move. I thought that I was uh, in front of the line of scrimmage, but I wasn't, and he passed it, and it was almost picked off. Luckily, it was incomplete. That one also incomplete. So fourth down, man. I'm taking my points. I'm taking my three, because you know, I mean, it's a friendly game, I and mean, I don't want to go far on fourth down like all the time. You know, it's early in the game. Let's take our points. And this game surprisingly went by so freaking quick. Like I don't know how. But, like, it seemed like 10 minutes into the game, we were already at, like, halftime. And, I mean, I was like, wow, like, you know, I mean, just, you know, time went by fast. And, uh-oh, this is exactly what I was afraid of. This is what I didn't want to happen. Bo Jackson, open field. Look at that run by Bo Jackson. That's exactly what I didn't want to happen. And uh, so that's, that's definitely not good, man. We're trying to get the sack here with Chris Clemens, but he just rifles it out to, I believe, Ant uh, Antonio Brown. And I... I want to fumble, man. I'm packing some hit power, so I want to get that fumble on him, make, make him cough that ball up and get this ball back and uh, add on to the lead. So third down and eight. He's going to look for someone to throw to. He's looking for Bo out of the backfield, but we're there when we bottle it up. So fourth and 11, he takes his three. So I'm like, oh, sweet, you know, someone that, you know, uh, uh, takes threes just like I do, you know, or like punts on, you know, like someone that doesn't go for it on fourth down no matter the situation. Like I can understand going for it on fourth down if the situation like calls for you going for it or it's a situation that makes sense to go for it. But early in the game, you know, just just kick a field goal, take your points. It's still it's still early. You know, you never know what could happen. So early in games, I decided to be, you know, I decided to play smart and just uh, take my three. And look at Charles on that last play, man. He's just like bouncing off people left and right. Unfortunately, this play wasn't as good. And you might notice he's got Bo Jackson on defense. <laughs> um, I mean, okay. I mean, like the entire time, I was like, if he gets a if he gets a pick with with uh, with Bo Jackson, then this will be like the most amazing gameplay ever. Because where would where else would you see that at? Like, where else would you see that at? And right there, uh-oh, Julian Edelman, that play is so cheesy. And Edelman wide open for the touchdown. We're taking the 10-3 to lead, and uh-oh, Bo Jackson on the Wildcat. Bo Jackson, he's got some more room down the field. There goes Bo, only one man to catch him, and we're going to get him, but not before he gets all the way down to the 48. Holy, I mean, see, man, I'm telling you, we're not stopping Bo Jackson. And, uh, you know, it's it's definitely hurting us, so... You know, again, like I said, it's the name of the game. Stop him, Bo Jackson. Got to send some nice blitzes. Stack the box. Just We got to do whatever we got to do to try to stop Bo Jackson. So, anyways, excuse me, I had to yawn. I'm pretty tired. I'm doing this at like 3 o'clock in the morning. But, hey, you know, I had to get some gameplay out for you guys. So I'm braving it. And right here, all the way across the field, he's got Antonio Brown wide open for the touchdown. And Roethlisberger to Brown. That's 
that's a tandem that the Steelers fans are absolutely just loving right now. And I don't blame them, man. I, that, that's a pretty damn good uh, duo. So right here, right before half, we're trying to see if we can't break another, a big run with RG3. But unfortunately, we're not able to. And he gets taken down. So now Bo Jackson's also his kick returner. So that's <laughs> that's going to be uh, it, uh, interesting seeing Bo, you know, uh, coming out. Uh, you know, coming out on kick, uh, on kick returns, and you know that's also going to be like just as deadly. But Derek Johnson, man, gets us a nice pick there. I'm telling you, man, Derek Johnson. You know, I still think that, you know, I mean, just because he was the Fourth of July legend, that's why I got him. But you know, like if you don't have him, and uh, you know, I would honestly probably go with. Uh, 95 or 97 Keekly over Derek J Johnson. One, you would save a good amount of coins by doing that. And two, honestly, I think that Luke Keekly can pretty much do what D Derek Johnson can. And I'm only keeping that Derek Johnson because I'm going to put him into that uh, J uh, Jared Allen set for Madden 16. So that's, so that's the only reason why I'm keeping him in there for now. And we try to throw a drag to Larry Fitz, or not a drag, a fade. And it just, he, he's not able to stay in bounds. So in second down, we're getting sacked. Third and 15, man. We're going to go with the blue play action. Mike Ditka wide open in the end zone. Mike Ditka for the touchdown, taking the lead 17 to 10. And Bo Jackson, now right here, like, um, you know, I kick the ball off and, like, I'm talking to my girlfriend. And then I, like, look up. And then all of a sudden, Bo Jackson is, like, running down the field, like, 10 yards ahead of everyone else. So I'm like, oh, shoot. Like, oh, you know, see, there it was, man. I probably shouldn't, shouldn't have done that knowing that it was Bo Jackson returning the kick. So just like that, the game's tied up again. So Jamal Charles trying to make something happen on the kick return. And we can't do anything. Dang it, man. Uh, you know, man, we, we we worked hard to get that lead, and all of a sudden, it's just gone in one play. It's just gone. So, uh, you know, we're running out with, with RG3. Now, he was he was running quarters a lot of the game. Now, is there some kind of, like, magic voodoo trick you can do where calling quarters gets you perfect pass coverage and, like, perfect, um, you know, r uh, r run stuff? Because, you know, I mean, I mean, he wasn't completely stuffing my run, but, I mean, I couldn't break off like huge runs against this guy and his defense i mean and he was calling quarters most of the game so i don't know maybe someone can explain to me how you can call quarters and still get pretty good uh rush stuff but that rush stuff didn't work right there jamal charles in the open field jamal charles down to the eight yard line so now second down and going on right here i throw the fade and he gets called for pass interference man i mean i kind of I mean, I wasn't exactly trying to exploit that. I just knew that, you know, either he's going to catch it or, I'm, or I might get pass interference. So I, d I just run it in with Le'Veon Bell. Oh, yeah, get this. I don't know why. I don't know what prompted me to do this, but I have positional hero Le'Veon Bell as, like, my number three running back. Like, I just got him, like, the day of this game, and I literally only ran him twice. I don't know why I didn't think to play him. I just... Didn't really play him. And so on third down, he drops the ball. And on fourth down, he goes for it. And Bo Jackson drops it. Turnover on downs. Um, but, yeah, but anyways, like I was saying, I, I got that positional here of uh, Le'Veon Bell. And, uh, I mean, I don't know. I mean, Carr's not, not very good, to be honest. I honestly think that Jamal Charles is a lot better. Um, but that's just, you know. My opinion, I just, you know, I don't know. Charles, he's a lot faster. He's a lot more agile. And trucking doesn't work in this game. Unless you have, like, 100 trucking, trucking's not really going to do much. And Bell only has, like, maybe, like, 98 or 97 truck. So that definitely doesn't really uh, work out too well. I don't know. I mean, he wasn't that good, but I'm still going to keep him around for a little bit. See how good he does. And uh, if he doesn't do anything, then I'm getting 99 uh, Eddie Lacy back because he definitely was a beast. Anyway, so... We only were able to take a field goal on our last drive, so now he has a chance to come out here and make something happen. Bo Jackson, of course, is getting slippery and sliding and just breaking off like 100 tackles. And Ben Roethlisberger, Big Ben, Big Ben with the big run, some room down the field. Ben Roethlisberger, man, he's gone, he's gone. Oh, he's going to be tackled down at the one. 
What a huge run for him. He needed that as he just runs over top with Big Ben. So all of a sudden, it's a three-point game under two minutes to go. A minute 55 to go. And oh, no. What am I doing? How? No. Come on. Get up, Hall. Get up, Hall. Get out of there. That was so, like, my heart just, like, dropped. Because I was like, oh, my God, no. Like, he can get a safety. And then I got to punt it back to him. And I was like... I was just thinking the worst at that point. But luckily, nothing really um, bad happens out of it. Jamal Charles again out the back for me. We're trying to pick up first time, but I'm trying to pass. I don't maybe it's dumb, but he's coming out and like goal I mean he's you know, has like five or six guys like down on the line of scrimmage, so I know that's not gonna work out too well trying to run. So in third and five, we rifle it to Charles, and that's pretty much going to be game. Uh, again, GG to, GG to my opponent, and again, thank you uh, for letting me borrow Bo Jackson for, you know, a few games. He definitely was the most fun card I've, I've had all year. That card is just super glitchy, and just nothing can beat it. So you can see I just got some stats. Charles had not, uh, 98 yards. Bo had 108 yards. So, um, you know... You know, again, I mean, it's it's Bo, it's Bo Jackson. He's going to perform pretty much no matter what you do. Um, so we got some highlights, and then of course the pack of the day. Now, if you're now if you want your Mutthead Simulator pack to be featured in the pack of the day, uh, be sure to just um, send me an email at fluttershyrlc at gmail dot dot com. I'll probably put a little like picture on screen of that so you guys can go send me like a screenshot or a picture of your packs and uh like your name your twitter handle or your like your youtube or whatever you want me to put up there like to acknowledge that it uh that it's yours or whatever and i'll definitely do that for you guys uh so anyways guys i'm fluttershy i hope you enjoyed this madden 15 ultimate team game again thank you for all your support i seriously do love each and every one of you guys are amazing subscribers and i cannot thank you guys enough so real quick the pack of the day boss ray lewis golden ticket rg3 peace out guys